Tiger's body now at the top of the key, looking to try to create on Bonin. She drives left, spin back right, loses it though, and Lopez picks up the loose ball. Here's Maloney now. Looks to go for the mid-ranger, but then a beautiful pump fake and bounce pass to Lopez for the wide open layup. Nice offense there for Queen. As Sanders has the ball up top. Swings it in to Clark up top, but the ball is tipped away and Bonin comes up with it. Goes coast to coast, little pump fake and scores. So a nice play there by Beth Bonin as she's getting going early here on the offensive end. Talia Hopkins can provide when in the game for the Knights. As Roland will try to shoot now, so, but rebounded by Lopez again. So now a third attempt at the basket. This time Bonin and she makes it count. Beth Bonin rattles it home. She'll take the ball up here on the break for the Knights over to Bonin. Bonin drives middle, finds Lopez back inside, and she'll kick it back out to Crosland, who will drive middle. And nice move there as the two point basket's good by Nyla Crosland. We now have a two point basketball game 23 to 21, 351 remaining in the first half. Nice drive by Lopez baseline and finds a wide open Hopkins in the middle. And that was a beautiful move by Lopez. Bonin secures it for the Lady Knights. So here come the Knights on the break. Back over to Roland, who will do a little heat check and count it. Back to back, three point shots for Merrick Roland. And a nice series there for Queens as Merrick gets going from beyond the arc. Letitia Clark has also been a solid presence inside for the Mavericks. As Roland starts off the third quarter with a missed three from the wing, but gets her own rebound, kicks it back out to Bonin. Bonin finds Lopez in the middle, right over to Tugas, and another nice unselfish play by Marina Lopez over to freshman guard Lucy Tugas. So here come the Lady Knights trying to capitalize on the missed shot. Out to Roland on the wing, she'll drive middle, finds Lopez inside, beautiful pass, and the finish by Marina Lopez. So. Lopez doing the majority of the giving in this game and assisting, this time gets rewarded as Roland finds her. As Lopez gets the ball off the inbounds over to Tugas. Roland off the down screen again, drives middle and goes up with a nice running layup. As Maloney and Tugas swing the ball around up top, Roland looks to drive left, throws it up and Queens regains the lead. Bonin at the top, she spins, passes over to Roland She'll pull up from mid-range, off the front of the rim, but Bonin with the offensive rebound and put back. If you can just try to really get to the rim here. As Bonin gets the ball and she has to, Roland's gotta shoot it. And the ball is tipped away as a nice defensive stop there for Mercy. As they hold serve, sending this game in the OT. <laughs> as the Lady Mavericks find themselves with a five point lead with just over four minutes to play. Celeste Moran inside, nice turnaround bank shot. Score from anywhere from eight feet in. And here's Bonin the other way off the turnover. She kicks the ball across court to Roan who drives middle, goes up with a nice floater and count it. And just like that, we got a one point game again. So here's Roland up top. Over to Tugas, they find Bonin in the corner. She'll fire from three. Count it, nothing but net. Beth Bonin with ice in her veins. Just beautiful knockdown from the corner. We got ourselves a tie game at 73. Now 3-2 zone they got to deal with. Can they get a score here? Pass up to Bonin a little too high. Bonin tried to save it. And now Zabrowska the other way and knocks down the three. So a huge turn in events for Mercy as they go back up by three points after the big three-point knockdown. And now Bonin drives baseline, throws it out to Tugas, over to Roland for the tie. Off the back iron, Moran with the rebound. She goes up with it, no good. Bonin with another offensive rebound. And she'll fire from three, no good. As Bonin was also looking for a foul. 